Hey, what's up, BrewTubers? All right, pounding through these beer reviews. This is going to be uh, review number six for me, I believe. I would say I have four more to go, but I'm actually going to redo one that I did because I think I may have found a bad bottle. Uh, so this is Wally Fex uh, Brew One uh, IPA for the uh, uh, dual grain triple play. His three hops were uh, Newport for bittering. That's a ten, uh, man. Is that ten? I can't read it. Um, not because he, not because it's, he, it's big letters. You can probably read it. I can't because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, I lost them in California. Um, then he's got Brew One, the Experimental Hop, and then uh, uh, for his three uh, flavoring additions, and then he's got Simcoe uh, on day one and day 14 for his dry hop. So uh, don't have his ABV on here, but his OG was 1070 and his final gravity was 1016, so um, that's close. Probably just under eight, maybe. I don't know. So anyway, let's crack this and get into it. All right, a little small hiss coming out of there, and the pour. I can already tell it's going to be pretty, well, some slight haze, but it's pretty clear, and Wally's is always, like, no junk in the bottom, because he, he bottles off the keg, but somehow, even though he bottles off the keg, and I do, he gets less sediment in his, and sometimes, uh, I think, like, for this experiment, I got a little bit of gunk in the bottom. Not sure why that happens, but anyway, um, yeah, color looks looks about right on. The head was about half a finger. It's starting to dissipate, uh, not rapidly, but quicker. Uh, and yeah, yeah, good color, uh, good kind of slight haze. Could be chill haze. There's a lot of hops in this thing. And let's get a nose. I'm getting orange. Yeah, getting orange, light citrus off the nose. A little bit of peach, a little bit of peach. So a little bit of orange citrus, peach, and a little bit of the dankness. Man, it's a really nice nose, Wally. Uh, and it's easy to get to it because there's not a whole lot of whole lot of foam on top. Okay, yeah, man, dude, this is a good smell. All right, cheers, Wally. Thank you for participating in the 2018 uh, hop experiment. Man. Yeah, I know why you're. I know why the beer is no longer on your keg. This is really good. Um, the the taste completely, the the flavor completely follows the aroma on this thing. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of taste uh, orange peel, a little bit of grapefruit, a little hint of the of the peach that I smelled. I get a, a slight kind of grassy uh, quality. And I think I get a little bit of the um, one descriptor that I liked that uh, Exit 12 uh, Nick and Brandon used was kind of the herbal um, kind of tea quality on the back. I kind of get that uh, on, the, on the back end of this. So, man, the aroma on this thing is kicking. Wow. Dude, yeah, yeah. Again, now that I've got a little bit of headspace in here, you got some serious dankness going on in this thing. Some of that kind of, that kind of onion uh, dankness, onion flavor, you know, aroma that is kind of the, you know, or black, I think they taught us to say black currant. Dude, this, is, this has got it kicking. Wow, really good, really good on the aroma, dude. This is this is awesome. Hmm. So let's see. Um, at Simcoe, that might be Simcoe doing it. 
Yeah, he used three ounces total of Simcoe, splitting it up between day three and day 14. I'm gonna have to go back and research uh, the brew one. I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna get a kind of citrus fruity uh, descriptors on that. It'll be interesting to see if it's got the, that kind of herbal floral quality on the back end that I talked about, so. God, the aroma, dude, is freaking awesome on this thing. I think this is, I think equally as impressive as Jake's uh, aroma. But this one for a different reason. This one is, it, it kind of reminds me of the, the Maharaj type dankness. Uh, that's one of my favorite double IPAs, uh, Maharaj. Um, is it Maharaj, Maharaja, or Raja? Maybe maybe it's Raja, but it's from Avery, and man, it has that four MMP, just dank cat pee kind of dankness in it that that, that 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 this thing has. Uh, once I kind of drink it down a little bit, mm. and it's weird. I can sit and just smell the beer. I almost enjoy smelling it as much as I enjoy drinking it because I just love it. I love this kind of dank, this kind of dank aroma. It doesn't taste like a 1016 attenuation. And what I mean by that is 1016, I'm kind of, I kind of trained my tongue to kind of understand what the final gravities usually taste like. And for me, when, it, when I brew a beer and it stays around 1016, like usually I think I get old school down to 1014, 1013. If I get 1016, it's usually got a little bit sweeter flavor on it. This one doesn't have. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really good, but I was expecting with a 1016 a little more sweetness on it, I guess, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, it finishes, it finishes pretty dry. Uh, man, that aroma is good. Dude, your, your dry hop is, whatever your technique is, you know, this, uh, what is it, day 14 and day day three? I'm gonna have to try that. Day 14 for seven days. Oh, wait a minute, day three of primary. So you put this in in primary fermentation. Hmm, well, I'll be damned. Well, I might have to try that because I haven't done that. I never put it in on day three of primary fermentation. So you still got a little bit of Krausen left, I would imagine. Um, significant amount of Krausen, actually. So, I mean, I've heard of, you know, we've, I've, I've been, I've, I've done that before doing a New England IPA, but I've never, I've never done that just on a regular IPA. So I'm gonna have to go back and try that because uh, it, it obviously works. It's a cool thing about these experiments. You see one that you're like, oh wow, how'd you do that? And then you're like, oh, well maybe it's the dry hop technique. So anyway, dude, uh, really good beer, Wally. Uh, really, really enjoyed this. And thank you for participating in the Hop Experiment Challenge. Wally ran this thing last year. So uh, I believe it was Wally. I think Puka might've run one too, back when he was still doing this. I think I participated in Puka's. Uh, and then his house like flooded or something and he wasn't able to taste the beers. But anyway, I digress. Hey, uh, thanks, Wally. Cheers, man. <clears throat>